I'm here with Jeremy. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Jeremy Solar. I work on Redox OS and I also work at System76 as principal engineer. Perfect. And um, what's your experience with uh, RustConf so far? It's been very good. Yeah, I've, I've been here since, since yesterday, last night. I met a lot of people. We talked a lot about different Rust projects and people are really using Rust in all kinds of crazy places these days. Perfect. And this is exactly what I want to hear because I want to hear like real experiences, like how people are using Rust for real. Mm -hmm. So please share your personal and real experience in using Rust. Sure. This. Yeah. So I've been using Rust all the way from firmware level up to graphical applications. So at System76, I started in 2017. And one of my first projects was to write a firmware update application. It runs in UEFI, and uh, it was actually one of the first UEFI applications I know of that was written in Rust. It used uh, Redox's UEFI libraries, and then it presents a UI to the user to perform firmware updates. So that allowed us to, per to provide automatic firmware updates to our customers. From there, it kind of exploded. We started Pop! OS and we integrated a lot of Rust into Pop! OS. This is our Linux distribution at System76. Uh, we, we use Rust in the installer, which was one of the first big projects we did with it. Uh, there's a crate called Distanced that handles all of the low-level installer stuff, and then there's a higher-level library um, that, that uses GTK that plugs into it. So with Distanced, we were able to increase our install performance significantly. So the uh, Linux distribution install times dropped to about one and a half minutes for Pop! OS. Uh, we kept going down that path of building out more Rust and more Rust until now where we're using it for Cosmic, the desktop environment. So we have a compositor written in Rust called Cosmic Comp, a Wayland compositor. And then we have applications, everything from terminal emulator, file manager, text editor, and, and onwards, all written in Rust. Uh, that's on the System76 side. On the, on the Redox side, since 2015, I've been working on very low-level things in Rust. So drivers, kernel, we're trying to make a micro-kernel written in Rust with, with a user space that's mostly Rust as well. So those two things intersect a lot, but they cover a, a wide section of the stack, all the way from firmware, kernel, drivers, uh, services, and, and user space applications. Perfect. So we can, and uh, for sure, we can say that you use Rust in different, in different ways. So it's, yeah. it's really, I think, absolutely alive. I really love this conference. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. We will leave a link to, to your project, of course. Okay. And uh, best of luck with the rest of the conference. Yeah, thank you. Bye. You too. Bye bye.